fired uh, for using their taser on a college uh, student in, in, who was uh, in his vehicle and was driving away from police, and they, they stopped him, and he was resisting. And those officers were charged with using a deadly weapon, the taser. And that's the same thing that Rashard Brooks is firing at police and has in his hands at the time he's shot. So uh, is a taser a deadly weapon or not? Taser is deadly weapon, but the suspect is clearly running away. That's what's dispositive for me. You're shooting a suspect in the back multiple times. It's not to protect yourself. It's not to protect others. He's clearly running away. That is the key piece of evidence. Sure, it may end up being... Um, how how important is the time between that the taser is fired at his head and when he fires his weapon? Because it's... It, it it's, is important. That is important. Look, It's I very close it, in it, time. We put it in slow motion, but it's like... There you see the taser being fired. He's just lifted up his, his weapon. It's a split second. I agree. The, uh, that's important. That's going to be the defense in this case. But you have to charge this officer with murder. Manslaughter is a miscarriage of justice. This is a man who is running away who shot multiple times in the back. If you care about our criminal justice system, if you care about how the public perceives our law enforcement, you got to charge the murder in this case. I know prosecutors across the country like to take the easy way out. We've talked about this a lot. There are facts here that are sufficient for second-degree murder. Anyone else, if it wasn't a law enforcement officer, this would be a no-brainer. They should be held to the same standard.